now 6 a.m. Good morning, everyone. I'm here now in my monkey business. It's so early to climb up. Sasakyan kita sa lahat ng gusto mo. So, I am just a driver of all these cars. My early monkey business climb here and there. Clubs, pati kamay <laughs> no? pati kamay nilalagyan na ng gloves dahil sa sobrang lamig dyan ka muna at aakyat tayo sa bundok good morning Ayan. lamig Good morning, Mom Roth. Good morning, Happy New Year in advance. Kung nandoon tayo sa Pilipinas at ganitong kalamig, di pa tayo kikilos, no? But anyway, it's 6 o'clock. Wala pang masyadong tao. Tingnan nyo, nakagloves pa ako. Lasayas na pasado. Ayan. Wala pang tao.
kasi itong mga sasakyan na ito use for work kaya yan maaga talaga itong dapat linisan kaya ang aga pa lang para na kong amo <laughs> I'm a monkey early in the morning climbing here and there Ayan.
Good morning everyone. It's cold time here in UAE. My early monkey business. See. Ayan at ayan. And this is my body. Good morning, Ban. Abdallah El Saman. Good morning, Sinun. Mulutal, yes, good morning, sir. Mir Hassan, good morning, also. So, today is 29th of December 2020. Two days more to go, and we have our new year. New year, new resolution. New year's resolution. Ayan. tayo dito sa aking mahiwagang upuan. Uh, my chair of relaxation. Dito makakapahinga na ko. Okay. If I sit down on my chair, I feel so good. So, thank you for the early flowers. Good morning. Have a beautiful day. Ayan. So, even in just message, at least there's someone who always remember early in the morning. So, thank you to my dear friend in Facebook. I will not um, mention the name, but thank you so much for giving me the flower. And also this one. I cannot... So, ayan din, oh, flowers in the early in the morning. So, thank you to those who send through messages. And uh, to those who call me early in the morning, please don't call me. No, just leave a message. And, uh... <laughs> Marasan, what is this? <laughs> no, you are not allowed. No? So, he sent a kiss. It's not allowed. It's prohibited. So, thank you so much to all my viewers in this morning. 
now the new year is approaching two days more to go so most most of us if we come to new year we are asking our new year's resolution okay so first i have to uh, share to you my new year's resolution when 2018 i was in philippines that is a a big celebration for me when i was came back home from abroad and uh, i am so happy it's because uh, i i am with my family with my neighbors with my workers so it's a uh, kind of blessings for me but that is a blessings in disguise how i can say that blessings in disguise 2018 i was about to come back here at the um, so beautiful you thank you sir 2018 of uh, september i think august september that month i was able to come back here in uaa but unfortunately i was not it's because of my visa expiration so instead of coming back i cannot so i stay in philippines for 11 months which at that point of time i have difficulties it's because of children's education from 2016 when i go to korfakan here in fojaira uh, i was in the swimming pool when uh, one thing comes in my mind you must to help educate children so at that time i was also in a um, hard time of my life because i um, try to uh, educate i i am with my children my four children as mother without house they are i have my children in colleges and um, they live alone as children they go together my four children without mother and father that moment i said how can i help educate children if i myself is in the deepest trial of my life but um upon uh, uh, swimming i said and i make a video just a memory i was crying at that time because i want to help but i cannot if something comes in our mind direct without any plans it means it is a task given to us a task that we don't know if we can push through or to reject but thanks to the father because i started at that time 2016 no 20 i, I was there in fujairah 2014 so 2014 is the the difficult time for me it's because of my children it runs two years the dream or the task given to me runs two years before i started it so 2016 naumpisahan ko yung pagkakawang gawa at that point of time Hindi pa nakatapos yung mga anak ko. My children was not yet graduated. They are in universities. But I tried to start. I said, umpisahan ko na yung pagtulong ko. Kasi gusto ko, I have to, to be together in my difficult time and 
in the time that I need to to serve serving and difficulties both together nahihirapan ka sa pansarili pansarili mong pangangailangan you you felt hardship or difficulties in your own needs but on the other side you have a mission you have a task to help to serve so you have to go together parang kamay ko lang pala ngayon oh black and white na dalawang kulay ng buhay yung pangsarili mong pangangailangan at ang pagsiserve mo despite of the situation okay so 2016 naumpisahan ko to educate children empower women and i created hindi ko pa na create yung clip wall me clip wall so 2016 naumpisahan ko na yon and then until such time that it was comes out to my mind the me clip wall family it is not comes from me but it was with my sister my big sister when we are talking together i said you you have to make a name for us and she tried to to um, look upon for it so she found out that we are 10 children of my parents the tin the 10 letters first letters of our names was formed as cleave wall and that is the starting point of cleave wall me cleave wall family me represents to my parents my first uh, my mother's first letter name maria and e is ernesto so my mother's name is maria fe and ernesto so me and the clip wall is from my siblings me clip wall so i make a uh, meaning in each letter cherish the life educate children adore empower woman with, with a love with um, love and uh, i will check first i cannot so memorize clip wall one minute huh? cheer is life educate children empower woman one minute pamasyado siya memorize okay Cheerless life, educate, adore, value, uh, empower woman with... Hindi ko talaga ma-memorize ito na. Kasi nakatoon ako sa PESCON ngayon eh. Wait, one minute. I will check in my, on my uh, profile. Why? Why I can't find it? Ito. Okay. This is it. Ayan. So, cheer is life. Educate, adore, value, empower woman. Aspire leadership with love. So, parang nakakalimutan ko na ang mikli ball ko ah. Okay. Ulit-ulitin natin ito para ma madala natin no, hanggang sa pagtanda and also we have to um, share to our young children so we have to cherish the life how we cherish the life we have to value each other's life sometimes if we are in trouble if we are in deep deepest problem we forget the life already Ha? nakakalimutan na natin yung buhay kapag nandoon na tayo sa pinaka may lalim na problema natin na 
Like for instance, I have to give example. Alam nyo ba, nyo ba, today, when I wake up in the morning, not only today, every day of my life, when I wake up, ang mabasa ko kaagad sa messenger ko, bayad na sa imong utang. Yes, it is a kind of pain to to uh, to receive. Why? At this point of time, this there are pandemics na nadaan na natin. Ay talaga pang magdrama lagi si Iha, wala na. Isa lagi, no? Itong buhay na maalaala mo kaya. Okay. Bayad na sa imong utang. Kanos aka magpadala. That even people don't remember the word, Hi! Good morning! How are you? Kumusta ka? Ano na ngayon ang kalagayan natin dyan? Hindi ba? We are focusing to the point of money matters. Why? It's because maningil ta kay nagpait na ta. Yes, it is. But we don't even think to say, sag dahilang usa, someday makabayad ra na siya. Siguro na ara na siya sa kalisod. To tell, frankly, maybe why tao, isa ka tao nga gusto simo-simoon sa iyang kapwa tao. Maybe there is no one wants herself to be oppressed. But I said, sige lang, kasi ako ang may utang eh. Ako ang may sala. To the point that I am still strong. Di man ka dapat mo hilak, singlon kasi mong utang. But the pain that I feel that people already forget. How to value the life. That people already afraid to face the world for hunger. That people already forget that even in the deepest difficulties preserve the life because there is one God the Father. Yun ang iniiyakan ng puso ko that I keep on praying and wishing all the best to everybody. I am not crying, it's because of my utang. I can. I can pay such amount in the right time. Kung hindi man, pagbabayaran ko pa rin yan sa kabilang buhay. Kung hindi ko yan, mababayaran dito sa lupa. The tears falling down in my eyes, it's because People don't understand the real meaning of life. Especially those who are. May pera ka pa sa bulsa mo. Hindi ka pa ginutom ng Diyos. Samantala ang taong nagkautang sa'yo, ang anak nasa ospital, ang pamangkin na disgrasya, Namatayan, nagkaroon ng problema, hindi mo kayang intindihin. It's because of greediness 
dahil sa suwapang. I am not telling those who are na nagpapautang. I am one. Isa rin po ako sa nagpapautang. But I cannot dare Kumbaga, hindi ko kayang gawin sa isang tao na kahit nasa ospital ang anak, nasa ICU. The life, hindi na 50-50. When I remembered my child, she is in the intensive care unit. Out of 150 na kailangan niya na platelets, 150,000 platelets. She has already 8,000 platelets na lang ang natira. But I felt so relaxed. I will never feel like I worry. Ang sabi ko sa sarili ko, if you will survive, you will. If not, I will offer you to God the Father. That's the prayer that I hold tight. Na mas kidri sa kong likod, kinasaksak na ka. From 2018, if you see my previous videos, but I closed it already. I am screaming inside the The International Airport of the Philippines. Why? It's because of my foolishness. Nang dahil sa aking katangahan yun. My visa was not renewed early. Which I've never noticed that before coming back here in UAA, it will be expired. At the time, I admit that it's my fault. Kasalanan ko yun kasi hindi ko tinignan yung papilis ko. But on the other point, how come na nagkaroon ako noon ng active contract, active OEC, and some other documents are all valid except visa. So, ang pinag-uusapan doon is visa. You cannot pass through kung wala kang visa at hindi ka pwedeng pumasok sa isang bansa kung wala kang visa hanggang airport ka lang. But I never lost my hope that someone can help me especially my fellow countrymen to give the solution to the problem but expectation was not done the resolution that must ang resolution ato na problema is just to ask another visa from employer with a supporting documents, legal supporting documents as a worker. But no one heard my voice. If I look at myself, I am just an ordinary person, undergraduate. I don't have any credentials. But I am trying myself to find a way na makatulong tayo sa kapwa natin. To feed our family, to educate children, to help Our neighbors educate children 
and empower women as I am dealing the difficult trial as single mom. But my voice, even how loud I am roaring, nobody's heard it. Bisag unsa ang ako ang pagsyagit, why nakadungog bisag usa. that I was facing a hurt, no, pain, so much pain before I sleep and I wake up early in the morning. For two months, I am cuddling that difficulties emotionally. Sa loob ng dalawang buwan noong 2018 habang nagigising ako at bago ako matulog pumapatak ang luha sa mga mata ko. Wala akong magawa. You don't have any power to make it. That sometimes, ito na yung sinasabi ko na sometimes itong uh, nasa telebisyon makikita natin. Ha? Yun nga ang tinatawag na midya. Midya dito, midya. Tinood, midya dili. So, midya, midya. I roam around hindi lang isang departamento yung pinuntahan ko to seek and ask help. Ang sabi lang sa akin, you have to make a salaysay signature and wait. Uh, yun lang ang lagi mong maririnig. Any department make salaysay, si permahan mo at magantay ka ng tawag. So, nawala na ako ng pag-asa. I said, hayaan muna. Go to the faith given to you. The life given to you, you have to stand alone. Doon ko inumpisahan ang paghawak ng pala. No? Kapot na palas ni. Mangguna ta. But still, life is dragging me down. Inabot ko na yon hanggang sa napunta ako sa sabungan pinagsisigawan manok na pula kung aking tingnan mukhang matapang. The first day I go inside Sabungan, I win 9,000 pesos. From Sabungan to house, nilakad ko lang yan. When I reach my house, ang natira sa 9,000 na, na pinalunan ko is 30 pesos. <laughs> Why? I don't care this money. I give it all. No, naurot din akong panghatag tungod sa akong kalipay, ngadaghan kong kwarta. I forget myself that I am in need. Nakalimutan ko na nangangailangan pala ko nang dahil sa sobrang tuwa ko, I give all. 30 pesos na bilins kong dinaugan. <laughs> That is how I value life. That I am begging to everybody. 
we have to forget ourselves. Let's look upon in general needs. Why we need to worry? Kaya ngayon, pag may nagpunta sa bahay at sabihin maningil, isa lang ang pinapasabi ko sa aking anak-anakan. Tell to them, wait for my call. Wala pang padala si mami. You will not die if I cannot pay to you. But if you want me to die, just tell me. Dahil nagkautang ako sa inyo. I am willing. The point here is, I am not asking, asking, asking. I am not asking favor for you. But I am asking your wide understanding. It's because of the situation we have now. Ang hinihiling ko sa bawat taong inutangan ko, except lang sa talagang nakakaunawa, wag nyo akong murahin. Wag na wag mong ipakita sa akin na iniinsulto mo ako dahil sa utang ko sa iyo. I still have the pride to face you. Ni minsan, hindi ako nangutang para ipasiksi ko. Ha? Pagwapa ko. I have such kind of problems. It's because sobra. Ang ari sa kasing-kasing ko. I cannot dare to swallow the good things that I have alone. Dahil kung titingnan ko lang ang sarili ko, I ask nothing now. From that time, my children was graduated in the universities. Wala na akong ibang hiniling. Kundi to live happily. And give back the life given to me. 45 years is more than enough to stay this messy world. We forget already, no? Dahil sa pansarili nating pangangailangan, nakakalimutan na natin bigyang halaga ang buhay. Cherish the life. Nakakalimutan din natin, we are professionals. Nakakalimutan na natin yung education. That even we have our degrees, we have our credentials, we have our professionality professionalities we forget to educate ourselves mismo tayo na humahawak ng papel na pinag-aralan natin pinaghirapan natin within the length of time we sacrifice to educate to go school to take this license nakakalimutan na natin yung sarili natin nang dahil nakatuon tayo sa salapi at sa sariling pangangailangan. Hindi na natin naisip kung paano natin bigyang halaga ang buhay, mabuhay ka kasama ako. We are just thinking that I am, I can live alone. Nakakalimutan na natin bigyan halaga ang buhay nang dahil sa pera. Nakakalimutan na natin iangat ang ating sarili 
dahil nakatuo na tayo sa pagmumura sa kapwa natin, paniningil ng porsyento. At nakakalimutan na natin na ang ating mga kababaihan ay kaawa-awa at laging kinakawawa. Woman, mother are always on the point of poverty. It's because the mother is the most closer to her children. Hindi na natin naisip na ang isang ina ay may apat na anak, may dalawang anak, tatlong anak. Pag-aralin, pakainin, bihisan. We are always looking, putang ina mo, bayad ka na ng utang mo. We never think, ano kaya ang kinain ng mag-inang yun? Dahil pandemic ngayon. Ano kaya ang ginagawa nila ngayon dahil pandemic ngayon? Ako, marami pa akong pera. Kaya ko pang buhayin ang mga anak ko. Kaya ko pang bigyan ng, ng kung ano ang gusto ng mga anak ko. Pero itong kabila, how can? Paano kaya sila? Sa isang araw at bago maggabi sa pagtulog. We never look at that. It's because of money. Right? Or it's because maningil jud ko. Kaya wa ko ipanghanda sa new year karon. Nobody can dare to say, hayaan mo na. Hindi pa siguro siya nakabayad ng utang niya, walang wala yun eh. Kung wala tayo panghanda sa New Year, sigdi lang, basin di ay. Sunod na mga adlaw na ata, pariho tang tanan na ah. We forget everything. We forget to cherish the life, to educate, to educate even ourselves. We forget to adore and value the life given to us. Sa akala nyo ba? Sa akala ba natin? Minura natin, siningil natin. We are, we are proud of ourselves. Hindi. Mas tinapakan mo ang sarili mo, pati anino mo. Nang dahil sa pagmumura mo sa taong nagkautang sa'yo. Why? Look at yourself alone in a closed door. Tingnan mo ang sarili mo sa isang madilim na bahagi ng parte ng buhay mo at tanungin mo kung nasaan nang galing ang buhay meron ka or sa isang liwanag para mahimas-masan ka no? dalhin mo ang isang malaking salamin at iharap mo ang sarili mo sa karangiyaan ng buhay mo at sa pag-apak mo sa kapwa mo tao who you are Mostly, ang may nguna to, karma. O, oh, diba? We are aiming or dreaming karma for our fellow men. It's because of anger. Tungod, kay nasuko ta. Makaingon ta sa tong sarili karma ray imo. But think million times 77 times 
that the ball is rolling. Umiikot ang gulong ng ating palad. Ang buhay ng isang tao. We cannot say that tomorrow is still yours and not mine. Sana, wish ko lang, we have to aspire the good leadership if we are blessed more than others. Kung ipinagpala tayo higit sa nakakaramihan, we have to share the life. We have to aspire other people. Who are in the difficulties. We have to lead the plan. Tayo ang manguna. Kung tayo ang nagkaroon ng magandang kapalaran sa buhay. Para ibahagi sa mga hikahos. At bigyan sila ng importansya pagmamahal. Aspire leadership with love. So, so sorry for the tears that I had. It is not because of one thing. But this is a kind of sharing for our New Year's resolution. We have to cherish the life, educate, adore, value, empower, especially our women, and aspire leadership with great love. Kasi yung buhay natin, unang-una, hiram lamang po ito. And we never be stuck. Say million years here on earth. Kailangan nating maging masaya, masagana. Kahit sa hirap ng buhay, we let everybody feels that we are happy, we are blessed, we are loved. This time, iiwanan na natin si COVID-19. We have to leave COVID-19 but still now we are facing again COVID variant. So, tingnan natin kung ano ang magagawa natin at kung ano ang maiambag natin para sa ating kapaligiran as human. Thank you so much to all my viewers. Have a good morning. This is a kind of uh, tears of sharing my moment as a woman, as a mother, as parent also. And uh, God bless us. Happy New Year. My New Year resolution is to give love to everybody and to serve until the end of my life. Thank you so much. God bless us all. Happy New Year in advance.